In this video we will be creating a website in virtual main control panel. First let us log into virtual main. Here you have to click on this virtual create virtual server. This is the domain we will be setting up. Enter the domain name here. Next you need to select a password here. You can enter whatever password you wish. Uh, here is description. I just enter something like hosting. Then the password you can generate one here. Then this will show the password. And then copy it. I copy here. You can this option will automatically create a username this will create a custom username I prefer creating a custom username with exact username as the domain name here you have advanced options uh, by default keep this default here you have some option for SSL to enable here if you want SSL you can enable here uh, we can do this after the site is set up. Before you can enable SSL, you need to point the domain to this uh, server IP. In my case, this is the domain name. If I look up the IP of this domain, it is already pointed to this server IP. So I should be able to get the SSL working by enabling this checkbox. And then click the create server. Now it is creating uh, requesting the SSL certificate. It is trying to make SSL for all the subdomain. This may fail because we only have pointed the domain name and this www to the server this won't resolve so SSL will fail NS lookup mail this won't resolve uh, so SSL will fail anyway that's fine let us see if the website is working copy the domain name and paste it here in the browser we get forbidden error let us log into this server okay we are in the server let us go to home folder there you will see a folder with exact same name as the domain name this one I will change to this particular user yes you the username and then if you go to public underscore HTML CD public underscore HTML here there is an index dot HTML file is there so let us refresh and see what is it okay we got this page we can edit this index.html and I deleted everything and put the text welcome now if I refresh I will see that welcome message let us see if PHP is working for this let us create a PHP info PHP and then php info uh, this is the file name php info so to see this file you have to domain name slash and this php info file name and then it is not working to fix that what you need to do is here select the domain name and then go to uh, server configuration website options here you need to change this to 
PHP FPM and save. It may take some time. Now if I refresh this page, okay I have to enter the PHP info again. Info.php. Yeah, I can see the PHP is working on the server. Next we need to see if SSL is working. For this type HTTPS slash domain name. We don't have SSL now. To get the SSL working, go again go to the server configuration. Here SSL certificate. Then let's encrypt. Here this is the default option. This will try to get SSL for all this domain. This works if you use the D if you point all these domains to the server IP then it will work. In this case I don't have so I have to specify which domains I need SSL for. I need only for these two URLs uh, the main domain and www and then request certificate. Okay, applying server configuration, restarting webmin. Okay, let us see if it is working. Refresh this page. Yeah, you have the SSL working now. If you go here, it's a let's encrypt SSL. More info. You can see the certificate details here. So that's all you need to set up a website in Webmin.